early Sunday morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, June. I don't know. I think it's the 23rd. 4:34 a.m. That's right. 4:34 a.m. What are those glasses she's got on? You ask. These are the glasses I wear when I'm driving at night or when it's dark out because my night vision sucks. <laughs> anyway, we got back from our trip last night, went home, went straight to bed for, I don't know, three or four hours, and then got up again at three o'clock this morning so I could get my husband back to the airport to go to Delaware for business for a few days. He'll be back Wednesday. So, yeah. I haven't been up this early in the morning driving around like this short of flying in a while. Uh, there have been a few times in the last year that we've been up this early for flying. I used to do early like this all the time when I was working still for American Greetings, but... Um, yeah, that was a long time ago. Anyway, it is what we laughingly refer to as the butt crack of dawn. And I am headed back to the house. Probably won't be able to go back to sleep because now I'm awake. So I'll probably just have some more coffee and some breakfast. And watch some YouTube. See what happens. I'll be back. So it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's still Sunday. And... Holy cow, I'm dragging. My butt can just not get up at four o'clock in the morning anymore, especially when I've only had like three or four hours of sleep. I am not young anymore. <laughs> um, I did end up, despite the fact that I had two cups of coffee, I ended up going to sleep on the couch for a couple of hours. So that probably did me some good. I've had some good healthy eating today. I've had a protein bar, some yogurt, um, um, some some cheese, some like good healthy things. I'm going to probably make, Bob's not here, I don't have to cook, but I have really nice whole grain uh, locally made bread, um, some homegrown lettuce and onion sprouts, and I boiled a couple of eggs the other day, so I think I'm going to make a really nice egg salad sandwich for dinner, but I think when I'm going to do, my walking partner's not here, he's in Delaware. <laughs> um, so I don't think I'm gonna to walk too far in the neighborhood by myself. Although we live in a very safe um, area, I'm not comfortable doing that yet. Um, but we, I can walk around our little community that I am comfortable with. So I think I'm gonna make a couple laps around the community, get a few extra steps and it's not gonna be like when he's here and we go walking and I have no problem getting 10,000 steps, but at least I can do something. Um, and as you can see, I have my, what I call my slouchy fat clothes on. They, you know, this just does nothing for my figure. These are slouchy, comfortable fat clothes. That's just, you know, they make me look fatter than I am, but that's okay. I don't care. Today, I don't care. I did get my coal ATC done today, my artist trading coin, and I got my paper clip done today. I got the social media thing done, albeit all of them I got done late, but I did get them done. I'm working on laundry right now. I'm soaking some towels and... I'm gonna do some drawing. I didn't do last night's drawings because I, I got home way too late and I, you know, wasn't here. It was, too, yesterday was too much of a rush with meetings and catching times and yeah, it was just too crazy. Um, so I'm gonna do yesterday's and today's tonight, but first let's put some socks on and let's go for a walk. Well, that's interesting. I've misplaced my beige sweatshirt that I usually wear. Hmm. Let me look a couple extra places. Hanging on a hook in the closet instead of on the coat rack out in the front entryway. And I walked by said hook in the closet three times. Didn't see it. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a walk now. I'm a little bit scratchy throated, scraggly, mucusy. I don't know what you want to call it. From our um this is, my, this is my bathroom, by the way, from our quick trip to California yesterday. So I'm going to grab a cough drop. I really don't want to use my inhaler again. I did that yesterday while I was in California. And, you know, I'm just, I don't take it anymore. 
besides the fact that it's strong, the rescue inhaler, because that's what it's meant to do, right? Help you breathe. But then my hands are like, like I've had two cups, two pots of coffee. I'd rather use a cough drop. So we're going to do that. I'll be back. I'll see how far I get by myself. My anxiety has been at a high level for a couple, going on a couple weeks now. So I just need to be mindful of that and not stress myself out. So we'll see how far I get by myself. Hello everyone. It is Monday, June 24th, I think. It's just about 1.30 p.m. Um, what did I do this morning that I didn't vlog? Chatted with my friends, started some laundry, social media. Yeah. A lot of, a, just a little bit of a few things. I don't know. Anyway, I was chatting with my friends mostly, doing nothing, but that's okay. Cleaning out some bins, getting rid of some stuff that doesn't serve anymore. And um, now the people who help me keep the house clean, because it's a big house, they're here right now working. So I'm gonna go check the mail. I need to collect the garbage cans and uh, basically keep myself out of their way so they can do their job. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Hey guys, it is. Tuesday morning. I almost said Wednesday. <laughs> My keys, sorry. Um, it's Tuesday morning, June 25th, I think. I think. I don't know exactly. I know it's Tuesday, the day after Monday. Um, we went running errands on the way home. I ate lunch. Then I, I got the mail, and then I sat down and watched YouTube for like two hours when I should be doing other stuff upstairs. Right? Holy cow. All right, let's head upstairs now after I put my bowl in the sink. mention, I still have tomorrow's vlog to edit. I haven't even started yet. An ATC card, a paper clip. I've got some resin I need to pour. Yeah, anyway, let's go upstairs. realized I don't think I've vlogged all day. I spent the day filming some stuff for YouTube and my creative year, the Facebook group I teach in with some friends. Um, if you want to join, the link is in the description below the video. Um, I also was working on today's, of course, ATC and paperclip because I'm still doing that and um, a couple other new things. I need to go um, into my one of my fabric boxes. Well, I need to clean out some of the fabric boxes out and I need to pull some things out I know are in there that I wanna work on and have at the table. Um, when I was able to stop at Daiso, you all saw in the last vlog, I picked up some more of those little wire baskets and I wanna fill one of, my, one of them or more up with some canvas tags that I know are in one of those fabric boxes. I don't think I got rid of them. Anyway, I wanna have them at the table and I wanna use them to wipe um, extra paint and stuff off on. I wanna start working on them uh, for creative embellishments. So anyway, I need to do that. I didn't get that done, but I did get a lot of other stuff done uh, upstairs, which is good. And I got a good start on laundry. I think the last load's in the washing machine. The biggest thing I have to do today is go get my husband at the airport and he doesn't get in until nine o'clock. It's Wednesday, June 26th, it's 7.21 PM. Don't get excited. I got the iPad on. <laughs> anyway, it's going to take me at least an hour to get to the airport because of traffic, because it's storming out. And um, Oregon storms are pretty, can be pretty bad. Lots of rain, thunder and lightning. Did you hear that? So yeah. So I'm going to take my time and go slowly. I'm going to be the little 90 year old grandma driving on this in the slow lane on the freeway. So yeah. <laughs> All right. That is it for the moment. I am going to 
go put some socks and shoes and a sweatshirt on and get myself headed towards the airport, I guess. Wish me luck. I'll be back. So first of all, that's the stormy sky out in front of me. There's no lightning right now, but there has been these giant bolts of lightning and very loud th claps of thunder and lots of water. Typical Portland rainstorm where it's like God dumped a bucket, bucket of water out over your head for like 20 minutes straight. I have never seen this many vehicles in the cell phone waiting area. It is absolutely crazy. And the view behind well, me... Let me zoom in, but you see all those cars back there? It's like the parking lot after a rock concert. <laughs> all of you who've been to a concert before know exactly what I'm talking about. Holy cow, people honking, people being rude. This is the first time since being in Oregon I've seen this. I'm used to it in California, it happens all the time. But wow, I'm glad I have a little time here. Um, I'm hoping most of the flights these people are here for come at like 8.30, which is like right about now, and that they're all gone by the time I get the phone call that my husband's landed. <laughs> Cross your fingers. All right. That's it for the moment, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday afternoon. I don't think I vlogged this morning. It's June 27th, it is 2.23 p.m. Yeah, I would hope I could tell you at least that because hello computer. I've been working on editing video all day and working on some art projects. Um, one of the things I don't think I'm gonna share on YouTube or anything, probably social media at some point, is I took a bunch of um, product packaging. These are actually raisin boxes. And for those of you who know what Pocky are, the cookies, they look like long sticks. Anyway, these are Pocky boxes. I covered them with um, copies of some backgrounds that I've done. Oops, dropped one on the floor. Um, and they're all drying, so I have a whole bunch of them and then one on the floor that I've got to pick up now. I'm going to be making a bunch of, bunch of little journals out of them, some to keep and use and play with and some to put in the Etsy store. Um, so look for that. Um, I have the first, of, first three videos for July uh, loading right now. Uh, they're all edited and ready to go. And then I have some tutorials I need to film, but the first three, like for next week, are all loading, so I'm good. Um, and then I have between today and like next week to get the rest done, which is, should be no problem. And my husband's working from home today. He's back from Philadelphia, yay! Uh, if you were watching this, you've already seen the vlog clips from the airport from trying to pick him up. Who? I had no idea Wednesday must be a hub day, a big business travel day. Those of you who travel more than I do and travel for business might know that. I had no idea. Like, that airport was crazy. And my husband said that the Philadelphia airport was also insane. So, anyway... Yeah, just relaxing at home and getting some projects done. The work table, let's see, semi sort of clean, cameras set up, ready for the next project. We've got things drying and yeah, we're all good. How are you? I hope you're good. All right, I'll be good back. Good morning. It's Friday, June 28th, I think. I don't know what time it is. It's after 9 a.m. I don't think it's 10 o'clock, but it's after 9 o'clock. Anyways, I'm out here in the back checking on my tomatoes. And there is a lot of them, but they're all still green. Good morning. It's Saturday, June 29th. I don't know what time it is. And listen, I only know the day because I've been upstairs once already making today's ATC card and paperclip and checking on social media and stuff. Um, what time is it? 10.49 a.m. We're gonna be going out in a bit to run some errands, do some fun things like, well, fun for us, like get a library card, which we haven't done yet. We love the library. 
I'm going to see if I can talk him into taking me to the um, art salvage store in Portland today. Cross your fingers. Okay, here's a little bit of TMI. So post-menopause, I have a problem with dry skin, flaky patches, rashes. <laughs> I was always, I always had sensitive skin. It's gotten worse post-menopause. So um, I'll get some adult acne. It's not even just acne. It's like a rash. And it turns into these big, dry, scaly patches that don't want to go away. Some of you women out there who are in my position know exactly what I'm talking about and you're all nodding your heads. So um, when I was young, I had oily skin and I had to um, do everything I could to dry it out. And now I have to do everything I can to moisturize. It's like the total opposite. So one of a couple things I found is actually using jojoba oil and vitamin E on my face works really well. I also found an Etsy seller that makes dandelion salve. Or where are we? The light's really bad, hang on. Well, probably because I don't have it on. We're in the bathroom, by the way. <laughs> there we go. So I found this dandelion salve from an Etsy seller. And, let's see. That's as clear as it's gonna get. But anyway, I will link it in the description below. I got this small jar. You can get a small like sample size jar, which I got. I've been using this especially on my hands, basically every time after I wash my hands, I put some on my hands. I had, I got a rash or little hives or something along my, along the side of my hand and my pinky finger. What, it's just, yeah, so anyway. Um, their hive and rash is gone, but now the skin's all dry. So, anyway. So the salve is really helping a lot. It's almost gone now, and I just put some, a little bit of it on every time after I wash my hands. So I've got to order some more. I'm gonna order a bigger one. You can make it yourself. There is lots of ways um, and recipes online, directions on how to make dandelion salve yourself. To be honest, I can't be bothered. And if somebody out there is selling it and making it, I'd rather do that. So supporting a fellow creative and a fellow Etsy store owner. So dandelion salve. If you're like me and you have really sensitive skin and the store-bought stuff doesn't always work, in fact, sometimes it makes it worse, you might want to try it. Just saying. All right, we are in downtown Portland and paying to park the car. Comment down below. Anyway, we're going to head over to Scrap there, so we're going to go check it out. I'll bring you with me. I spent $14 in the store. I know. Mostly vintage things. These really cute little knobs. Zipper pulls. Weird stuff. So anyway, I'll share later. But yeah, we're going to head over to the library now and get groceries. Exciting, I know. I'll be back. Library cards. 
so we feel like real citizens of Oregon. That's right. I love the library. So to see. We'll be back. We got our library uh, cards. That maybe. library was really cool because not only do they have an awesome music selection and movie selection along with some books, I got, I don't know, six or eight art magazines for 25 cents each. And they have a display of um, dinosaur bones, um, replica. I think most of them are replicas. And if you're watching this clip, you've seen the clip of those that I took when no one was looking, hopefully. Um, and um, they also have a program where for kids they can check out discovery bags to help them discover different things in nature. And um, they also have other uh, things that you can check out from the library like sewing machines and telescopes. Telescope? It was a telescope. This? Yeah, and other, uh, like a whole host of different things here in Washington County, Oregon. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, now we're going to get groceries and then we're going to go home. We both need something cold to drink. His, he wants rum in his. So. I got to have rum in my Coke. Anyway, we'll be back. Like filming and not having the camera on. So we went to the library and I got some music, checked out some music that I don't think I've heard before. The names sound familiar. This is a blues. Um, Lily Allen, I have I have some of Lily Allen's music. I don't think I have this particular one, but and then this one. I got a bunch of boxes for the charity auction, eBay auction we're gonna be having soon. It is coming soon, I promise. Um, before the end of July, the auctions will be live and you'll see a video from me. And then at the Creative Reuse Center. This is the one I went to. Evidently they have more locations, so I need to figure out where those are exactly. I got a bunch of stuff, including envelopes from World War II with the postage intact. This broken CD case, I know, but I had ideas for it as soon as I saw it. Um, these, a few of these tags from port parking permits, I don't know different sizes of interesting small bottles, old slides and slide frames, buckles, old buckles, um, some of these giant hooks, and these cute little knobs, wooden, small wooden knobs. This ball of yarn I didn't really need but couldn't resist. And a few of these butterfly style paper clips. And also some zipper pulls. So weird, interesting, unusual salvage. Um, art salvage stores are popping up all over the country so I definitely would recommend them for you to um, acquire interesting, unique art parts for your art room. Oh, it's a pretty hefty bag. I just grabbed handfuls of things. Um, they're popping up all over my the different country. names, and I would definitely type in art salvage or creative reuse near me and see what pops up because they're all over the place. I know my friend Cindy has one near her in South Carolina um, that she goes to with Carla. And in San Francisco, we had one, and evidently there's more than one of them around here, so I'm gonna have to do some research and see where the other locations are. So anyway, that's it for today. I also got some happy mail from C. Shanks. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, parking downtown to go to the Creative Reuse Center was a whole $5. <laughs> I'm so used to California prices. Anyway, that's it for today. We're gonna go um, chill downstairs, have some cold thing cold to drink. I'm hot, and um, I need to catch up on yesterday's drawings and do today's too, so I'm gonna go do that. I hope you've had a great week. I know we have. If you wanna follow me on social media or 
support the free content here on Facebook, here on YouTube or over on Facebook. Um, shop in the Etsy store, buy one of my stencils, um, any of that stuff, send me happy mail. All that stuff's in the description below. So um, a lot of the links for things and like my website and stuff are in a link tree list of links, which is in the description below. So if you click on the link tree link, you'll find a whole list of pop, will pop up of all kinds of stuff and you can follow me all over the place. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. That's it for this week. I'll see you later. Bye guys.